Hi, my name is Kim Atina. This screencast will go over Google Jamboard. So what is Google Jamboard? It is a free mobile app that will allow you to brainstorm, jot ideas down, um, collaborate with others um, in a visual environment. Um, is it, it is accessible um, through mobile devices, enabled um, devices that are accessible to the Android apps, such as the Chromebook or a Pixelbook, and via the web. So first you need to download the free app, either on the Apple Store or the Play Store. And once you do that, you will be able to access Jamboard. So for my example here, I am on a, a Chromebook that is um, that has access to Android apps. So I already installed the Jamboard app. And uh, once I install the Jamboard app, the screen shows up. I can click on the plus sign here to create a new jam or to join a jam. So for this example, I'm going to click new jam. And this screen comes up. This is um, the canvas area or the frame. So I have a toolbar here on the side. This is my pen palette. Uh, this is my handwriting recognition. So I can actually um, type or write my name. Remember this uses touch screen, so I can type my name or write my name and it should pick up what I'm, what I'm printing as it did. Um, this tool is the shape tool. So if I start to um, draw a shape, it will try to pick up and draw it more precisely. So that's really cool for students. This tool is the auto draw tool. So if I was trying to draw a star or a tree, um, it will show a palette here at the bottom and I can select the different star or object that I want to insert into my frame. This icon here will allow me to erase um, an object. The palette icon will allow me to select different palettes, um, different color palettes. Um, so if I type, write my name, uh, it will show it in green. This is the lasso tool. So this will allow me to um, select an object and I can move it into a different area or I can delete it by dragging it down to the bottom. Um, so that's the lasso tool. This is the post-it note tool so I can um, I can add post-it notes to my jam and it will show up there as well. This plus sign will bring up another menu where it will allow me to add information or um, insert or include files from my drive. So you can see my drive is listed here. This icon will allow me to insert information from the internet. So if I wanted to insert this, um, I don't know, let's say, this information, symbolism of a flower, I can cut that out. I can crop it if I wanted to, and I can drag it over. So it's kind of like a quick reference to what I was doing. Um, this icon here will allow me to insert uh, search for and insert um, pictures from the web. This icon here is um, an emoji icon palette, which will allow me to insert, um, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, check mark, any type of feedback that I wanted to provide or give to collaborators in my jam. Again, this is the post it note option, and this option here will take a picture. Um, using my device's webcam. So that's a quick overview of the, the menu here. Uh, if I wanted to create a second frame, I can just simply go up to the top and hit the right arrow. And what's nice about this is I can actually have a background for my frame. So if you're using this in math class, I can create graph paper um, and I can apply that background to all of my frames or just this specific frame. And if I had students um, graphing, I can uh, allow them to do that here. So 
to switch in my pen and they can actually, um, you know, draw linear lines if needed and, um, you know, do their, solve their equations in this graph. Um, and also what's nice about that is, is that if they click on the three dot menu, they can save their jam as a PDF or they can share this frame, all right, and save it as an image, which is great because at this point, I can take this and I can um, download it and insert it into Google Classroom, so which is nice. So let's see. And I don't want to share it on social, so I'm just going to save it to my files. Give it a name. And of course it's not working. Okay, so it says it exported it, but we will see. Um, what's nice about this is that all of my jams are, are saved in Google Drive. So when I open up Drive, and I'm gonna refresh my screen, my jams are in Drive, as you can see here. So I can access my, my jam from Drive as well. And since they live in Drive, I can actually insert them as um, attachments in Google Classroom. So I can create an assignment. Um, and I'm just gonna put this in here and I'm gonna attach it using my drive icon. And I have the same file permissions um, in my Jamboard as I do in Google Docs or Google Slides. I can share it with students via view, edit, or make a copy. So we'll just say view, I will assign it. And now my assignment is posted with my jam attached as view only. So that's the power of, of having um, the ability of using G Suite with all of its core apps because they are all connected somehow or another. And it's great to be able to do that because um, students and other users, um, you know, all use technology different and access um, these apps in a different way. So it's nice to be able to include Jamboard in with Google Classroom as well. So I hope you found this screencast helpful. I know it was long. Thank you for watching. Bye.